questions that I get asked a lot. The first is where did I get my name, which I know is pretty unusual. And the second is how did I get to be where I am at Puget Sound Energy? The answer to these two questions have more in common with each other than you might think. My name is a family name, and it means inspired one, and some say it means driven one. My journey to be the Senior Vice President of Operations at Puget Sound Energy, well, I was inspired and quite literally driven to the field of engineering when I was driving my first car. This is my first car. It's a 1974 Triumph TR6. And this thing, it used more oil than gas. You couldn't turn the heater off. It blasted hot air on your legs, winter and summer. It consumed electrical fuses, like popcorn at a movie. And whenever I drove it, I carried good shoes, a coat, and a pocket full of change, in case I had to walk to a payphone and call for help. I grew up in a small mountain town in Colorado. You had to drive to get anywhere. Reliable transportation was super important. This was my transportation. I wanted to learn how to fix it, how to make it something reliable, something I could count on. This put in motion my first pursuit for reliability and my determination to fix things. So I got into the field of engineering. Fast forward a few years later to a pivotal time in my career that came in December of 2006 during the Hanukkah Eve windstorm. This is a storm with its own Wikipedia page, which tells you it was a pretty big deal. It was a pretty memorable storm for the Northwest. There were hurricane force winds, heavy, heavy rain, hundreds of millions of dollars of damage throughout the region, and people died as a result of the storm, mostly from the effects of carbon monoxide poisoning. At PSE, at the height of the storm, over 70% of our customers lost power. That's some 700,000 customers. I had a part to play in the storm in that I was the emergency operations center director when the storm hit. I remember calling the officers of the company to let them know that 700,000 customers were out of power. And we would do our best to get helicopters in the field and personnel out in the field as well to be able to assess and begin to restore the damage, but we had to wait for the wind to stop blowing. The storm was heavy, and it was so impactful. Anyone who was here during that time has a story about the Hanukkah Eve storm. One story that came to mind for our team at PSE is a hospital that was out of power on the first day of the storm. They had been out for 18 hours, and they couldn't get all of their backup generator capability online, so we got the call for help. We were able to get one key power line into the area so we could restore the hospital and bring it back online. During the next several days, residents who lived around the hospital, they were still without power, so the hospital opened up its doors and invited local residents to come warm up in the lobby during the day. I had a lot of lessons that I learned in that storm. The first was we were prepared as a company. We had a plan, we had practiced it. But even though we were prepared, the storm was still so devastating for our communities and for our customers. The second thing I learned is how important resiliency is and how fast you bounce back. That means everything. That's something we've been working really hard on at PSE for example, in our worst windstorms now, 90% of the time, we have customers restored within the first 24 hours. It's not just PSE operations who's focused on preparation and resiliency, it's all of PSE, including our PSE Foundation. For example, in the last five years, we've granted over a million dollars to equip local emergency shelters and food banks with backup generators. So we're focusing on being resilient and we're helping others be resilient as well. One of the last main lessons that I learned from that is that power is absolutely essential for our communities. And we take that responsibility at PSE very, very seriously. Now we fast forward to today, where we have many ongoing reliability projects every day, improving our systems. 
fewer and shorter power outages, and the ability to bounce back quicker when an emergency does hit. Each year, PSE invests $600 million in capital improvements to upgrade our systems and assure that we can deliver safe energy. This is both for our electric and natural gas systems. Some examples of targeted reliability improvement projects at specific locations where we have repeat reliability issues include something called tree wire. Tree-related outages can be reduced 95% when thin diameter overhead wire is replaced by a thick coated wire that's designed to prevent outages when tree limbs hit the power line. Now keep in mind that tree wire can't prevent an outage when an entire tree falls into the line, but it is effective for falling limbs and branches. Next is something called a recloser. By placing specialized equipment on the power line, we can limit the size and impact of an outage. In other words, the number of customers affected is fewer, and we recover quicker. A recloser is a piece of equipment that senses when a power outage has occurred. If that power outage is, temp is temporary, the recloser will re-energize the line, all without having to deploy service personnel. In addition to our geographically targeted reliability improvements, we're also making improvements throughout the system as well, such as by replacing aging underground cables. Summer is when we get most of our underground cable outages, and we've been working hard to make improvements. For example, if you compare our performance in July of 2015 to July of 2018, we've been able to reduce cable outages by 50%, and that's just from replacing aging underground cables. Next is tree trimming. In the Northwest, we love our trees, but they are a leading cause of power outages. By trimming our trees, we've been able to mitigate the impacts of power outages due to falling tree branches and whole trees by performing vegetation management throughout our system on a regular basis. At our substations, we replace equipment on a proactive basis, including power circuit breakers, power transformers, and circuit switchers to help maintain reliability and offset the impacts of aging infrastructure. When people hear about reliability, I think they often think about electric reliability. But after hearing what we did about the natural gas fires and explosions in Massachusetts and experiencing what we did when the Enbridge pipeline in British Columbia ruptured in the fall of 2018, which disrupted the supply of natural gas into the Northwest and resulted in us requesting our customers to conserve and even curtail their use of natural gas, it underscores that safety is our top priority when it comes to improving the reliability of our natural gas system. In recent years at PSE, we've completed the replacement of leak-prone cast iron and bare steel pipe. And now, we're proactively replacing older wrap steel pipe and vintage plastic pipe that is more susceptible to leaks. We're also working throughout our communities to help prevent the damage of our natural gas lines by spreading the word of call before you dig. Not only are we investing in system reliability and resiliency, but we're also investing in the future of the grid through backbone improvements like our Energize East Side project, natural gas reliability projects like our Tacoma LNG facility, and projects in communities like Bainbridge Island to assure that we can continue to deliver reliable energy for these growing communities now and on into the future. We're investing in smart technologies that enhance the grid. These smart grid technologies help our customers save money and energy, and they help us improve reliability, resiliency, and reduce our carbon footprint. One of the smart grid technologies I'm particularly excited about is something called distribution and transmission automation, or grid self-healing. This automation equipment automatically senses when damage to one of our power systems has caused an outage. It reroutes power around the problem it limits the outage to fewer customers. Service personnel are able to locate, respond, and fix the problem faster, and it shortens the duration for those affected. So this is pretty great stuff. We're ramping up our efforts in grid cell feeling. Right now we have 22 projects either completed or in process, and next year we're doing 15 more. Another area I'm excited about is battery technology. 
At PSE, we've been exploring battery technology since 2013, and now we're implementing some very exciting projects to learn more about how batteries can benefit our customers and how we should integrate them with the grid. Batteries help provide backup power and also help integrate with renewable energy like solar. This technology is still relatively new, but from our pilot projects, we know that we're going to learn how to integrate batteries best into our system in the next few years. We are also currently upgrading our meter system to a current technology called Advanced Metering Infrastructure, or AMI for short. The upgrade of our meter system has more to do with replacing aging infrastructure than it does implementing smart technologies, but these meters are completely compatible with the smart grid programs that we've planned in the future. And so now I'd like to go back to my old car. As I said at the time, reliable transportation was super important to me, and it still is. At that time, ultimately I saved up my money and I bought a Toyota Corolla and that car is probably still on the road today. But my old car, well, we kept it in the family and it's since been restored. While we're not counting on it for a daily driver anymore, it is a fan favorite in the local parade circuit. I learned some things. What I learned from that car is the importance of reliability, having something that you can count on and that's there when you need it. What I learned from my engineering studies is the philosophy of continuously learning and constantly finding solutions. And what I learned from some of my earlier work experiences is the absolute importance of having safe, reliable energy and the importance of resiliency. I use all of that and apply those lessons to my work in reliability at PSE as well as exploring emerging technologies. It all ties back to our commitment to safe, reliable service. <laughs>